Welcome to BB's Bookshelf. Today we are reading What Do You Do If You Work at the Zoo by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. What do you do if you work at the zoo? You'll be a zookeeper, a person who takes care of the animals. You'll feed your animals, of course, and you'll do your best to make sure they stay healthy and safe. But zookeepers also have more unusual responsibilities. You might find yourself playing games with a monkey, imitating a vulture, weighing a snake, even tickling a tapir. Here are a few of the surprising things you might do if you decide to work at the zoo. You might cuddle a joey. A mother kangaroo keeps her baby called Joey safe in a pouch on her belly. This Joey doesn't have a mother. So for the next six months, you'll carry it in your own pouch made of cloth. Or you might impersonate a vulture. This king vulture chick is being raised in a zoo, but when it is old enough, it will be released into the wild. To keep it from becoming attached to a human, you should feed it with a hand puppet that looks like an adult vulture. Or you might count a colony. It is important to keep track of all of the animals in a zoo. Making a regular count of these Humboldt penguins will ensure that none of them are missing or sick. You might rub an aardvark's ears. At home in Africa, aardvarks are nighttime creatures, but in a zoo, they are often active during the day. You'll need to slather sunscreen onto the aardvark's sensitive ears to keep them from getting sunburned. Or you might shine a tortoise's shell. Polishing this Galapagos tortoise's shell keeps it from drying out and cracking, and the tortoise seems to enjoy the attention. You might give an elephant a pedicure. An elephant living in the zoo doesn't walk miles every day like its wild cousins, so its toenails don't get worn down. This elephant is trained to hold up its feet one at a time so you can file down its toenails. Or you might brush a hippo's teeth. A wild hippopotamus feeds on grass and water plants that don't get stuck in its teeth. But the fruits and vegetables it eats in the zoo can get trapped and give the hippo cavities. So you'll need to give its huge tusks a regular brushing. Or you might puzzle a mercat. Why hide a mercat's snack? It's not always easy for a wild animal to find food. When you give this mercat a puzzle, it must figure out which tube has a treat inside. You'll be encouraging its natural behavior. And then you need to warm it up. In Africa, mercats like to bask in the sun. When it's cold outside, you can help them stay toasty by turning on an infrared heat lamp. You might serenade a seal. If you're a musician, try playing a tune for a seal. The music seems to calm it down. Or tickle a tapir. A wild tapir rubs its body against a tree to remove ticks and other parasites. In a zoo, it doesn't have to worry about parasites, but the tapir still likes a good rub, and it seems to enjoy a gentle scratching with a rake. You might play ball with a bear. Playtime is an important part of the day for many animals. It keeps them entertained, and it's good exercise. Try tossing a ball to the polar bear. She'll love it but you might not get your ball back right away. And then you'll toss it to a rhino. How about playing soccer with a rhinoceros? Make the pass, then get out of the way fast. Or train a dragon. How do you get a dangerous giant lizard to climb into its cage so a vet can give it a checkup? You train it to pursue a red ball on a stick to get a reward. When the Komodo dragon follows the ball into its cage, give it a dead rat. What a treat! Or pick up panda poop. Pandas eat almost nothing but bamboo, and they eat a lot of it, which means they make a lot of poop. So get your shovel. It's a dirty job, but someone has to do it, and not just for the pandas. 
zookeepers clean up after all the animals in the zoo. But don't make this at home. When it's hot, kids aren't the only ones that like popsicles. Zoo animals get fruit sickles, fish sickles, and meat sickles. You can make a hyena happy with a blood sickle. Or bottle feed a giraffe. This little giraffe's mother is sick and can't nurse her baby, so you'll need to give the calf a bottle of milk every few hours. It just might decide that you're its mother. Or bottle feed a manatee. A hurricane separated this baby manatee from its mother. Manatees are mammals, and their young drink milk. You'll be feeding it by hand for the next year or so. Size up a guitar fish. If you know how to scuba dive, you can measure this guitar fish, a close relative of the shark. Keeping track of an animal's size lets you know if it's healthy and growing properly. That's a long fish. Oh my goodness, look how long that snake is. Pick up a python. Keeping track of an animal's weight is one way to make sure it's getting enough food, but to weigh a 350 pound snake, you'll need to recruit some friends. Or you might entice an elephant seal. How do you weigh an elephant seal? This enormous animal is happy to flop onto a scale as long as you reward it with lots of yummy raw fish or you could introduce a friend. Cheetah cubs usually have several brothers and sisters, but this cheetah was born alone and it seems to be lonely. Try introducing it to a new playmate, a golden retriever puppy. The end.